Hi, this is Steven here from Core Electronics. I'm here today to talk to you about the Adafruit Circuit Playground Express. It's a new board from Adafruit. It's an upgrade on the Circuit Playground, and it's a feature packed board. It's great for educators, and I'm excited to show it to you, so let's take a look. So the board itself is a circular form factor, which is great for a variety of projects. It's good for if you want to use it as a wearable, if you want to sew it onto something. And the pins on the outside are all alligator clip friendly. So it means that you don't need to solder in order to interface the Circuit Playground Express with other sensors. You could just use alligator clips and when you're done, you could take them off and the board's ready to be used for another project. The pins on the outside, seven of them are capacitive touch capable, so they are able to detect if you touch them with your hand or if you touch a wire that's connected to them. On the board as well, we have a micro USB port and that's what we use to load code onto the board and to communicate with the computer. We have an on light that's on whenever it's powered so you know that the power is working and we have a com digital communication red light that's on when it's communicating with the computer. We also have 10 NeoPixel RGB LEDs and these are capable of making any color and they're addressable so you can make any light that you want turn on any color that you want. We have a temperature sensor. We have a sound sensor which is like a simple microphone. We have a speaker. There's a light sensor. There's two megabytes of flash memory. It has a ARM Cortex M0 processor and that runs at 48 megahertz, so it's a pretty fast processor. Um, we have a infrared transmitter and receiver, so that means that you can make a project where the Circuit Playground Express works as, let's say, a TV remote, or it's also capable of communicating with other Circuit Playground Expresses over infrared, or it could be used as a proximity sensor um, over top of the board itself. Um, there's some buttons on the board. There's a momentary press button A and B, and there's a slide switch that could be selected left or right, and those are ready to be utilized in your code on the board. We also have an accelerometer, so that detects any movement that the board's undergoing. So whether it's being leaned or turned upside down or shaken or free falling, those are things that you'd be able to detect with an accelerometer. So there's a lot of there's a lot of there's a lot of sensors on the board. There's a lot of options for projects that you could do just with the board alone. Now the Circuit Playground Express is capable of being programmed three different ways. The first is Arduino, the second is MakeCode, and the third is CircuitPython, and I'll elaborate on those a little bit. Most makers will already be familiar with Arduino, which is a great language to use if you want to leverage the incredible amount of content that's already available out there. There's so many libraries made and there's such a force of people already out there programming in it that most problems that you might run into programming, there's somebody out there who knows a solution and that's great and you can really get down into some higher high, high processes of the board with Arduino. Now for an educator though, what I really recommend and what the, the thing that I'm really excited about with this board is MakeCode, which MakeCode is a drag and drop interface. It's great for someone who may not have coded before or just learning the basics of coding and getting their head around the concepts, but it's still capable enough to really make some complex programs. So I'll just uh, plug in this board. I loaded a program on make code earlier and I'll let you guys see it. So it's a pretty basic program where when you press one button the lights on that side light up and you press a button the other lights light up and when you give it a shake they light up in a rainbow. So this is a program that takes about five minutes in make code to make. 
So one of the best things about MakeCode is the it's all web browser based. So you don't need to install any software in order to run it. You can run it on a tablet. You can run it off your phone if you like. Um, this is the Make Code homepage. We'll go to Circuit Playground Express. And in here, there's already a lot of available tutorials for projects you can make with the Circuit Playground Express. And it breaks it down step by step what you need to do in order to make whatever it is that the tutorial is about. So we'll go into my example code. As you can see, on the right hand side is our workspace. There's a menu in the middle where we select our operations and then there's a virtual Circuit Playground Express on the left with working buttons on it. So you can, you can basically test your code entirely within the browser without ever connecting your, your Circuit Playground Express to a computer or loading the code onto it. And then once you see that it's all working in the computer, you can load it onto your board for your project. Um, so just a quick rundown of how this code works. We've got in the left here a forever loop bracket and this is the button press operation part of the program. We have a forever loop bracket with while conditions inside. So the program will run through this forever loop continuously waiting for a button press. And while the button's pressed, the red lights will turn on and you can change the color of the lights if you want just with this color wheel interface. So now they'd all light up pink and then a clear to turn them off when the button's not pressed anymore. And on the right over here, we have another loop that's continuously waiting for the board to be shaken. And then it will show the rainbow animation for two seconds and then turn off. And all this is just drag and drop. It's really easy. Only pieces that fit in the code will work work in the blocks, so you can't make mistakes in the code um, while you're dragging the blocks around. Another cool feature of it is that it, the actual language that you're programming in with these blocks is JavaScript. So you can click over to see what you've done in JavaScript, which, which I think is a great educational tool to be able to see at the very least the programming language that you're making with the visual interface and you could type in here to write your code as well rather than use the blocks if that's what you wanted to do. The third way to program a, the Circuit Playground Express is in CircuitPython. So this is an example of the CircuitPython IDE which is where you program CircuitPython to put on your Circuit Playground Express. So this particular example program is making the 10 LEDs on the Circuit Playground Express light up, then flash, then show a rainbow, then do the rainbow cycle effect that's the same as when we shake the uh, shake the board. So as you can see writing in CircuitPython is much more involved than the drag and drop make code interface but it's um, more versatile. You're capable of doing more things within CircuitPython and even though it may look a little intimidating at first it is a pretty good language to use. So that wraps up my explanation of the Adafruit Circuit Playground Express. It's a great tool for educators. It's great for makers. There's so many, so many possibilities with all these sensors in one board. Um, if you want to know more, check out our tutorials page. There'll be more tutorials coming up on MakeCode and CircuitPython for the Circuit Playground Express. Thanks.